Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the new reformulated Hourglass uh, Immaculate Foundation. I did a review on this when I first started my channel a couple years ago. I will link that review down below. But they reached out to me a couple months ago and said that they had reformulated the foundation and they wanted to send me some. So I've been using it for a while now and I uh, here I am. I'm going to film a review and a demo on it. So we'll apply it. I'll show you kind of how it wears, talk about the foundation a little bit, check in throughout the day with pictures and video to kind of let you see how it wears throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we apply the foundation, I'm going to, of course, read you all the uh, benefits and things like that from the Sephora website so that you know um, kind of the stats on this foundation. So it's called the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It is retails for $56 on Sephora, its website. Um, it's a mattifying oil-free foundation. So it says that it gives full to medium coverage. It's great for sensitive skin, combination skin, or oily skin. Uh, and the finish is matte. So this dries to a powder. So in my experience, I don't need to set this foundation with a powder. Um, I don't know that you, I don't know why you would. Um, if it's a liquid to powder foundation, adding more powder is not really gonna do anything except make your skin look a little more dry. So I would not recommend setting this with a powder. That's just my two cents. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and apply the foundation so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so they sent me two shades. They sent me nude and then they sent me natural. Um, you can tell obviously that I've been using the nude one a little bit more. Um, it's in a squeeze tube. The other one, I actually have the other one. This is the original bottle. Um, the same, you, I believe you get the same amount, one ounce in both. Um, so this looks like a lot more, but the squeeze tube is the same amount of product that you get. Uh, so, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. You can see the consistency is thick enough to where it doesn't slide down really quickly. It is starting to move a little bit, so it's not super thick, but it's also not really liquidy either. It's kind of a good um, in-between. I always like to start with the, a little foundation and then build. Uh, I like to keep my skin as light as I can, only using as much as I need. So I hate to waste foundation, so I don't squeeze out. I always squeeze out a little bit, and then if I feel the need to add more, I will. I'm going to use the It Cosmetics foundation brush to apply it. This is my favorite brush I have found because I do feel like a beauty blender absorbs this product really quickly and you end up using more than you need. So I'm just going to dip my brush in here and I'm going to start in the center of my face and I am just going to press this into my skin. I'm not really going to buff it. I'm just going to press it because I am going to try and get uh, as much coverage from this as I can. This is described as a medium to full coverage foundation. I would say it's more of a medium in my opinion. It does dry really, really quick. Uh, I mean, I'm already like noticing it's drying down, but it's so lightweight that it blends in really easily. So normally when something dries really quick, you're, you want, you're concerned with how quickly you can blend it because if it dries before you have a chance to blend it, then you have uh, then it's not blended in very nicely. Well, this is so lightweight that it, it blends in really easily and really quick. It has an interesting smell. That's one thing that I do notice when I apply it is the smell. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just a smell. So just wanna throw that out there because I know some people are sensitive to smells. I did a review on the Wet n Wild Foundation and um, people started commenting that it smelled like paint thinner and I didn't notice it when I applied it. But when they said that, of course, I opened my bottle and I was like, whoa, that is a pretty distinct smell and I can't believe I didn't notice it before. Yeah, this definitely is a smell, but like I said, it's not bad or it's, it's not really good, it's just a smell. So uh, when I first apply it, you can see the coverage that it gives. It pretty it gives pretty good coverage, but I d I wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation. It's described as being full coverage. I would describe it more as a medium coverage foundation, which is good. That's about as much as I need. I rarely go reach for a full coverage foundation because even though it gives full coverage initially and it looks great, I find throughout the day full coverage foundations just tend to look heavy or settle in between lines, and I don't want that. To me, this gives a very velvety finish. I wouldn't call this definitely definitely no glow going on here. Um, it's it's matte, but I feel like it's a kind of a velvety. Like I feel like it's almost line blurring or pore blurring. So um, I feel like it diminished the appearance of my pores. Okay, now I do need to go back in and get a little bit more because that only covered half of my face. So before I do, I want you to kind of, kind of compare the two sides of my face. So this has foundation, and this side does not. Very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And again, this is the shade Nude. I will say this foundation blends out so easily and so quickly. And it does dry to a powder finish. Like It does look to me like I have powdered my skin with... Almost like a powder that has, uh, I, I know I said this already, but a pore 
minimizing or smoothing effect. I feel like this foundation gives you that. It doesn't say anything on the website about that. I might have overlooked it, but I definitely feel like this makes everything look a little smoother. Okay, so you do have to use quite a bit. I would say one full pump, one and a half pumps, or squeezes, I guess. It doesn't have a pump, so. Okay, so that's a pretty good thin layer. Um, just because they say it's full coverage, I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna try and build, because I have a little bit left on my hands, so I'm gonna go and try and add a little bit more here and see if I can get nice looking full coverage. Let's see. Yeah, this looks very velvety to me. It's definitely matte, like it's, there's no shine. It's pretty flat, but it's pretty. It's not, um, it doesn't magnify the texture in my skin. It almost makes everything look smoother. Typically when I find something that's really matte, I feel like it can magnify texture. This one I don't think it does. I actually think it makes everything look a lot smoother. So like I said, I've been using this for a while. I just haven't like analyzed it this much because I haven't filmed a video on it. But initially, I really do like the way this applies. I really, really do. I'm gonna put on my bronzer and my blush and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just had a thought as I was applying my bronzer and blush. I really like the way that the bronzer and blush apply on top of it. The finish, once it's dried and set, to me it really resembles airbrush makeup. So I have an airbrush machine and I do airbrush makeup on brides sometimes, and this is what it looks like to me. It just looks very matte, very poreless, um, very, very smooth. It, it looks a lot like this. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind because this might be a foundation that I wanna add to my kit, especially with it being um, really compact like this. It'll be easy to pack a lot of them. Uh, but anyway, okay, so the time right now is 2.24. 2.30. Um, I am going to check in throughout the day and then I will make sure that I do not touch it. I will not add powder. I will not, I mean, I won't blot. I won't do anything so you guys can really see how this wears, but I'll make sure to keep it on um, late tonight. So I will try and stay up late since it is so late right now. I'll, I'll wear this at least till 10.30 or 11 so you guys can see um, how it stands the test of time. Okay, you guys, I will see you in a bit. Hey guys, okay, so it's 8.30 p.m. now. I've had the foundation on for, I guess, coming up six hours or more. Um, since I applied this, I went to the mall. I had lunch with, a, with my sister-in-law and a friend, and then I went to a Mother's Day dinner with our family, and we were outside the whole time. It's pretty warm today. I wouldn't say it's like really hot here, but it's definitely warm. I was outside. I felt like I was getting a little sweaty, but I'm looking at my foundation, and it actually looks a little shinier in this camera than it does when I look in the mirror, like... I kind of looked in the mirror right before I started filming this and I have to say that the foundation looks pretty darn good. Like, I mean, it's gotten a little shinier since I first applied it, but I would say that it almost looks, has the appearance of like a normal foundation that's not, doesn't dry to a powder finish. Like, I feel like the way that it looks right now is the way that a normal foundation looks right after I apply it before I set it with powder. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first applied the foundation, it looked like I set it with powder. Now it doesn't have that like freshly powdered look, but it still looks pretty fresh. I mean, I'm just using my phone on, I mean, I'm sorry, my camera on my um, iPhone, so I don't know how great a quality it is. Uh, but the foundation looks looks pretty good. You have to excuse my eye makeup and my hair, because I think that's making me look a little more run down than the actual foundation is. But anyway, it's six hours, 8.30. I'm gonna go finish um, getting my kids ready for bed, and then I'll check back in. I'll probably be up for another two hours or so, and I'll be sure and do a check-in before I go to bed and let you guys no, or let you guys see how it's wearing. Like I said, I've worn this foundation for a while now, so I kind of know my opinion on it, but I haven't really dissected it yet until this review. So um, at this point though, it's a nice foundation. I think that if you have oily skin, this is probably one that you're really gonna like. Um, I did notice after I filmed the first time, and I kind of, after I filmed, and then I like went about my business for like 20 or 30 minutes, I looked in the mirror and it was very, very matte. Um, so just kind of give that little disclosure there in case you don't really like that finish. Just kind of be aware of that. But anyway, I'm rambling. I've had a couple margaritas, so I'm gonna cut myself off right here. I'm gonna go finish getting my kids ready for bed and then I'll be back, okay? Hey guys, okay, so it's almost 11 p.m. I've had the foundation on for over eight hours now. I have honestly just been kind of like keeping myself up the last two hours to just get get past eight hours to film this because I wanted to I wanted to have the foundation on for some length of time to show you guys how it wears. But honestly I really haven't seen much of a change over it between 
now and the last time I checked in, which was just a couple of hours ago, um, I mean, it still looks pretty good. Like, yes, there is a need to touch up around here, especially it's a little bit oily there. Um, but the, as far as everything else, it has remained pretty matte. Um, I do notice that my pores are kind of starting to show a little bit more here, whereas in earlier when I applied the foundation, it was a lot smoother. But I think overall, for having a foundation on for this length of time and being outside for a big chunk of the day, I mean, we were at dinner outside for about three hours, um, and I don't even know what the temperature was today. It wasn't really hot. We were in the shade, but it was at least in the 80s. I mean, it was probably 85 today, um, and I was outside for three hours, and I haven't touched my, my foundation at all. I haven't added powder. I haven't used a blotting paper, nothing. I think that this has worn really well. Um, who is this good for? So it's definitely good for someone with oily skin. I think if you have really oily skin, you should definitely give this foundation a try. If you're more on the dry side, like pretty dry, this maybe would not be a foundation I would recommend because it is pretty matte. Um, and it does kind of, um, I don't want to say suck the life out of your skin, but if you have dry skin, you need more moisture. You need something very hydrating to give your skin life. And this is not going to be the one for you, but if you're normal combination or oily, especially oily in combination, I think this foundation is definitely worth a shot. Um, I like it. It's a great foundation. Um, I don't know that I would put it in my top, but I think it's a great performing foundation. Um, this is really a foundation I think that is beneficial for like the wearability of it. Um, it definitely covers and makes everything look even. I wouldn't say that it's a foundation that makes your skin look um, gorgeous or flawless like the Vibrancy Josie Maron or the Face Atelier. I feel like those foundations just make your skin look amazing. Um, this is very different. Like the benefits of this foundation are not to make your skin look amazing. This is just to like cover and have a foundation that stays in place that you don't really have to worry about. That's what this foundation is for. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys. I feel like I look like a hot mess. My hair is like past the point of needing to be washed. My eyes are so red because I've been outside all day and I have allergies. Who, who would have thought I've been living in this town my whole life and all of a sudden I'm hit with allergies. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave your questions if you have any specific questions about this foundation down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And thank you guys for watching. Good night. Bye.